Arlington National Cemetery today to say their final farewells to Army Staff Sergeant Ryan Knauss. The last Tennessee native was the East Tennessee native was among 13 service members killed in a suicide bombing attack in the final days of the war in Afghanistan. He was the last soldier to die in that conflict. Now, just like 400,000 others, Ryan Knauss will be remembered forever on the hallowed grounds of the nation's cemetery. 10 News anchor Robin Wilhoyt is live in Arlington with more on today's emotional goodbye. Robin. Shannon Cassie, the ceremony for Ryan Canals was today at one o'clock at Arlington National Cemetery and the ceremonies there. They are dignified, they are solemn and they are steeped in tradition. They are meant to honor heroes, heroes like the 23 year old from Knox County. Staff Sergeant Ryan Canals was interred in an area known as Section 60. It is a 14 acre stretch of land where people who served most recently in the Iraq and Afghanistan conflicts are buried, as well as those who served as far back as the Spanish American War, that war back in 1898. So, ladies, this place steeped in history, but in tradition as well. You've actually reached out to Ryan Canals' family before today's burial. I did, and I spoke with his father, Greg Canal, several days ago. And the one thing he shared with me is that the prayers, the well wishes, just the thoughts, it has truly made all the difference in the world in these dark days. He actually said they have gotten cards from almost every state in the country just letting them know that they are thinking about them. So clearly, Ryan Canals had an impact far beyond East Tennessee. And you mentioned that funerals at Arlington are dignified and solemn. You know, every detail of a funeral at Arlington is planned to the most minute detail. And the, the unit that really oversees a lot of it, it is, it is called the um, Old Guard. And these are soldiers who train to perfection when it comes to playing taps, when it comes to folding the flag, they train and train and train. And the reason why they do that is they want to honor, honor these fallen heroes like Ryan Canals. Coming up tonight at five and six, we will talk to a man from Knoxville who was part of the old guard and he will show us and tell us more about why this job of honoring our soldiers, our servicemen and women is so important. Definitely give a thank you to Staff Sergeant Canals for everything he did. Robin, thank you for joining us live in Arlington, Virginia.